Right here in our own little greenhouse, we've been doing some what would be considered cutting edge research in the areas of invasive insect and invasive plant biology and ecology. We've been examining post range expansion in emerald ash borer beyond their use of just simply ash trees. And there's a live emerald ash borer larva right there. We first discovered that they could utilize a tree called white fringe tree, a relative of ash. And we've now been testing a close relative of white fringe tree, which is cultivated olive that most people recognize. And indeed, here at Wright State, we've identified that emerald ash borer can complete development on stems of olive trees. What you're seeing in this video is the the adult emerald ash borer at the point of imminent emergence from the tree, chewing its exit hole and struggling to emerge from the bark. What we're looking at now is a stem of olive of a variety called manzanilla. You can see on this stem, these serpentine galleries here are the feeding galleries of an emerald ash borer larvae as they feed and move through the stem of the tree. The emerald ash borer in this laboratory situation can complete development to adulthood on cultivated olive. There are dozens of varieties of olive in the world. I can't imagine that we just got lucky to have tested the only variety susceptible to emerald ash borer, so there's a lot more work ahead on the numerous varieties of olive that are out there. If emerald ash borer indeed out there in nature finds and, and eats and damages olive trees, that would have tremendous economic impact as well. Both here in, the, in the, the U.S., but perhaps also in the native olive growing ranges in the Mediterranean basin. The hopes would be that we can use our findings to inform that industry about potential risks that emerald ash borer poses to it before emerald ash borer shows up in these olive growing regions in the U.S.